Hi, this is Ralph Wilson in San Francisco. I'm at the eMetrics Web Optimization Summit, and I'm here with Robin Steiff of Lunametrics in Pittsburgh, an mm -hmm. expert in uh, Google Analytics. You're an authorized Google Analytics consultant, okay. which is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Not everybody gets that kind of designation. We love it. Uh, one of the things that we were talking about earlier is that is that small to medium business businesses can get out of their analytics has to do with uh, the content, uh, whether it's working or not. Tell mm -hmm. me, how, how do analytics help you figure that out? Um, in a variety of ways. Um, and I really want to back up and say it's, a lot of it is about what they what they need to understand. Okay. So there are sites that really care. I often get people say, who say to me, uh, I'm dying to know if anybody is reading this. So that's like the very first thing. Is anybody looking at it? Yeah. Um, Another thing that um, sites can learn is are those pages, uh, are people looking at it and liking it? So one of the most important metrics companies can look at are, is called, um, a metric called bounce rate. And the idea of a bounce rate is that someone lands on the page and leaves the page without looking at another page. Okay, so they leave the site. They leave the site, with thank you very much, without mm -hmm. looking at another page. And so a very high bounce rate uh, is bad, and a very low bounce rate tends to be good. Okay. Those are broad generalizations. Let me ask you a technical question. How long do they have to stay on the page before it counts the bounce rate? If you land on a page and don't go to, to anything else, don't do anything else, your, your session will time oh, out. Oh, the session times out in 30 and minutes. And therefore it will count as a bounce, because it doesn't see that you went to another mm -hmm. page within the 30 minutes. Now, if someone comes to your site and comes to a page and is there and uh, a half second later they're gone, does that register on Google Analytics? It really all depends on where the code is on the page. So if the code is high on the page, it loads quickly. And if it's low on the page, it loads more slowly. Do you recommend that people put code high or low on the page? Well, actually, that's a, um, a harder qu hard question to answer because if it's low on the page, that's really good for customer service. In other words, someone lands quickly, moves quickly off, and they don't need to wait around for your code to load. On the other hand, um, uh, when it's higher on the page, you tend to be able to do more, you can track more, that, that half second visit gets tracked more easily, okay. or that millisecond visit, maybe mm -hmm. we should say. And furthermore, there are other things with Google Analytics that are easier to do when the code is high on the page. Okay, now coming back to content, mm -hmm. so you can tell whether they like it by how long they stay there. Uh, and if they bounce. Okay, so yes and no. Okay. Uh, you, they might love it, they, they stay there a long time and it might be because they love it or it might be because they just can't find what they want. Or maybe they went uh, to, to the kitchen to get something to eat. Right, <laughs> very true. You just don't know that they're sitting there. But on, on average, mm -hmm. you're looking at averages here. Mm -hmm. uh, so an average time on page, uh, the average bounce rate, those things are helpful then to tell uh, whether this content's working. Those, those things are very helpful and um, in Google Anal Analytics now there's a new feature um, called benchmarking and um, people can turn on benchmarking. It's a privacy issue so it's the kind of thing you really need to So what is benchmarking? With. The idea is that your analytics will be um, anonymously compared against other analytics in your category, in your industry. Okay. And um, they're only compared I think on six different, there are only six matrices that mm -hmm. are compared but um, uh, you can begin, that bounce rate is one of them, bounce rate for the site. And so uh, you can begin to understand if your bounce rate is good or bad for your site. Okay. Now, let's say I find out that, you know, one of my pages, content pages, is really working super, but one of them isn't working at all. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell me to do? What, what kind of action might I take that would help my, my conversion rate? or help your site. Yeah, so what, what like, might I do at that point? Well, the best thing to do at that point would be some kind of testing. Um, and I know you're going to be talking to people about multivariate testing, so we'll leave that for other interviews. Mm -hmm. But um, I often feel like the hard part with multivariate testing isn't setting up the test, it's knowing what to yeah. test. So this, so this bounce rate and time on site, those kind of things tell you this one, if we worked on it, could we could get better and we need to get better. Now we test to figure out what to do How and what to get works. Better, right. Okay. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank sharing you. with us. Sure. Uh, tell me about your business, Robin, and what you do. Okay. Uh, we're an analytics company. Uh, people call us up and say, uh, can you fix my Google Analytics? Or they say, um, I've got Google Analytics, but I haven't got the Vegas idea 
uh, what they what they mean, or they even say things like, "Can you please help me increase my conversion rate?" <laughs> now you're putting on a conference uh, coming up, aren't you? Mm-hmm, I am. What it's is? just a one day conference. Tell me about it. It's called um, uh, "Getting Results with Google Analytics." It's in New York City on June 4th, and it's really a one day training session to get better at Google Anal- to get better at Google Analytics <laughs> with both for both techies and non techies. Oh, There's yeah. really a marketing track and a Uh, Well, thanks so much for sharing with us. Thank you. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today.